Hello, let's do a very fun thing, meaning jumping into a dungeon without knowing what it is or what to do. Okay, so let's see if I am very confident in my character or not. Usually I'm not, but we'll try it. I can also go and upgrade my dragon heart a little bit. I mean, give it one more use, but I'll not do that. I'll just, you know, enjoy the game a little bit as it is. We're currently current... We're currently level 9 archetype for the gunslinger. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a little bit upset because I was farming for about 2 hours and I didn't really get anything out of it because the dungeon was a little bit weird. Well, I guess I did finish the dungeon, but I didn't get the extra thing I wanted to get because it, you can only do it once, apparently. 65 ammo. That's a lot of ammo. This place speaks to me. Terminal station. <laughs> Wait, is this the alien metro station? I think it is. Oh yeah, definitely we'll explore this area a lot. These are a lot of passages that lead nowhere. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them crumbles and I die. These guys are not so bad to kill, I'm just running out of ammo. Huh. A room with nothing in it. Why am I not surprised? Well, that broke the pots. <laughs> I guess my heavy armor broke the pots. Oh. Interesting. It does look that, like there might be multiple ways of doing this or multiple... Okay, let's just go and finish it once and then we'll go back and explore the rest. From what I can see, Remnant 2 is mostly based around you finding the right solution for the right puzzle. I mean, there might be multiple solutions for multiple puzzles in the same area, but you just have to focus on your task. I come in peace. The multi-level... Dungeons or areas to explore doesn't seem like they add much to the game because you're basically going the same way It's just that elevators provide a little bit of a point to rest and yeah. And these robots are so slow Enjoy that, Mr. Robot. Uh, it's over. <laughs> okay, take that back. Having the hatchery as the first dungeon was actually pretty good in terms of how useful this item is. Here we go. Man, I hate that one. Damn. This ain't good. Okay, 
think that. Oh, come on, stop it. Is there an elite here? Oh boy. Oh, so he was the troublemaker. definitely a bug if the elite spawns over there behind you there's nothing you can do about it especially an elite like that that can damage this you from any range good. man i'm just enjoying the visuals i know where to go but visuals So I'm not a fan of those sounds, I mean, if there are no I mean, well, I guess it does add to the atmosphere. Okay, take that back is good. I wanted to say that if there are no enemies around, you shouldn't really be bothered by pseudo enemy sounds. We came from here, yeah, there's only one way to advance. As you can see, the game is kind of deceptive in the way that it has the level design. Fashioned in such a way that you'll think there are multiple ways of advancing, but in reality there is only one. I guess you should always follow the follow the yellow brick road or the pathway that is, has little thingies on it. Or just follow the path where more enemies spawn. That was so buggy. This terminal station. The okay, this is it. Oh, holy hell! How are you supposed to handle these guys with a shield if you don't have this class? I guess you can auto damage them like this, but it looks like it will be very hard to damage them with any other class except the guns and like that to destroy their shield. Terminal station going up. Oh no, still going down? Really? No, I'm really afraid. This dungeon didn't have much in terms of loot for my character. Barely any, any scrap at all. I don't like these long elevators because they might, you know, increase the tear factor or the atmosphere, but overall they just reduce the replayability. 
Okay, okay. They could give me peanuts or a soda while I'm waiting here. Worst airline services ever. What are those pillows? Oh, they're containment units or something. I forgot my keys. I have to go back up again. That would be annoying. <laughs> Imagine if you forgot something up there. Or if you're playing with a friend and that friend accidentally presses uh, the wrong key and he goes back on the elevator. Well, where is... Yeah, I really wanted to play this mission ever since I saw it. But to be honest, I think it's kind of weird that I'm getting to do all of the things we saw in the trailers, Welcome. basically. Welcome. Step aboard the train. They have very, very underground subways. Yeah, but I'm basically doing all of the stuff they showed in the trailer is in about four or five hours if I was not exploring so much. Where are the chairs? I have no idea who you are or how you came to be in this place. To be completely honest, I do not care. I have spent too much time in the company of machines. To converse now with a being of flesh and bone is such an honor. Machines fear nothing, not pain, nor death. But you, I can already detect an increase in your vitals. But I digress. I am the conductor of this train. And it is my honor to propose to you a little test. The rules are simple. Kill everything on this train before it crashes and you die. Of are you ready? <laughs> I suppose it does not matter whether you are or not. Let us begin. Okay, it's timed and also with enemies. Nice. Well, I guess as long as no enemies spawn behind me. I disagree.
wanted it to be easy near the end, but I guess it will not hear me. That was very hard, because I almost finished it and then he regained his shield. I almost killed him. You may leave at the next stop. No tricks. You have done what I asked. Hey, how about the reward? How unfortunate. I had hoped to see you die. Well, next time, pal. <laughs> I don't think there's anything he can do about that either. New trait, footwork. Aim, movement, increase movement speed while aiming. That's one of the most useless things ever. Because you'll be doing like this, you'll be... Yeah. Oh, we can look at the rest of the train. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of junk in this tunnel, okay. Can I see the conductor or he's just... Well, he might be a robot, cyborg or even an AI, who knows. <coughs> so, really, is that all that is to this dungeon? This is definitely the trailer. I feel your pain, Corsa. Music wants to be heard. It's difficult to find motivation without an audience. And it does seem more difficult to find an audience these days. The Trezir had always been serene, but that trend seemed to worsen. Okay, I guess that's more like it. A chest. Maybe he didn't have anything important to say. Oh. 
This is unexpected. I guess you have to jump down to see who was talking to you. I can use that. I don't smash it. Oh, okay. My first melee weapon. My first known basic melee weapon, as the as the achievements call it. So this is 57 damage, this is 72, okay. Arne says rocket technology to increase smashing force, well, that sounds like your everyday fallout hammer. Charge melee attack against the speed of element. Uh... No, I like hammers. Wait, how do you use the ability of melee weapons? I'm not sure you can. I don't see the buff icon. Eh, whatever, doesn't really matter. Forum Cypher, what is even this item? Dense memory storage device containing other knowledge, but I'll be in the end. Let's be reduced to fragment sociopathic operating system. Okay, let's explore a little more. That was very interesting. <laughs> the end was more interesting than the fight itself. Yeah, I thought so. It's a sociopathic AI and I guess we can open a door or something with it. But I guess the map kind of gives it away that if you look at the map you'll see the ladder. I'm not sure about all of these newer mechanics. I'm not sure what to say about it. Okay, and then we listen to the whole audio log. Oh. Perfect. Well, when the rewards are very, very small. 28 scrap, a few relic dust. That's the recording stop. Okay. I feel your pain, Corsa. Music wants to be heard. It's difficult to find motivation. Sounds better like this. It does seem more difficult to find an audience these days. The Trezir have always been serene, but that trend seems to worsen the longer we sail in the black. My a patron came to me yesterday lamenting how ephemeral music was, how weightless. The Trezir seek the permanence of all things after all. Why devote precious time to a song destined to be forgotten? I had no answer for them. The music, like all created things, is temporary. Is that not the point? Uh, art draws focus to the small things. A uh, friend's tears, a child's laughter, <laughs> a life mate's care. Our people have spent millennia seeking new beings for the origin of uh, creation, but uh, that is not our life. Our life is our attention, and what or whom we spend that attention on. It is the small moments we share, not the death of uncaring stars. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good line. I'll write that down. Goza. Be encouraged that music need not be heard by all, nor does it want to be. All created things are beloved by some and reviled by others. Do not seek to please. Seek but to make and in so doing to find those with whom you may share and create your life.
Well, that was interesting. Some, uh, you know, subway philosophy. Wait. I missed a crate in the train. Can I go back and get it? I hope so. No. Yeah, really, they, they put crates in the train and they don't allow you to go back for them? That's pure evil over that. And I guess this is the end of the line. I really hope we could have seen more with the metro station, but I guess it was supposed to be a cool thing for the tra trailer, not the major mechanic of the game. And they could have done more with this terminal station, with the stations overall. Okay, let's go back to the entrance because I really want to see if I missed anything. It seems like the station was lacking loot. Oh, cool story, cool weapons. I guess we got another quest item that we have to use on somewhere on this planet. Maybe we don't even have the proper dungeon to use the quest item. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> Definitely the gunslinger is a lot stronger than I think it should be. Especially against those shield guys. Those shield guys are probably the only thing that can destroy your run. Here they come. Glad that's over. Oh wait, I'm exiting. Yeah, see, this is how you waste your time in a game like this. It's cool with the elevators and um and the movement, but then you just forget what you're doing. So it it's kind of an annoying thing. So now I have to see. I, there was one pathway I didn't look at. And maybe we can jump down in the terminal station some at some point somewhere to a ledge or a secret item or something because that's probably how the game is supposed to be played. You can definitely miss that secret over there. No, it looks like I searched every little area. Same for the second level, so okay, I guess the dungeon is completed. Dangerous jump. Hey, I heard something. Yeah, I guess that's the entire station, probably. Ah, let's kill one more elite and then we'll leave. supposed to be over here. But you know what? What is that? Oh yeah, melee is quite strong in this game. I think I'll use it a little more often. That goes to hammers. Oh, that was actually pretty fun. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.